Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com. Today I'm going to show you how to get US TV Now service right on your Roku. Now it's not as easy to get this app. Uh, you can't just go to the uh, streaming channel store and find US TV Now. It won't show up. You have to side load it and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So US TV Now is a service uh, that you sign up for. It gives you seven free channels that you can watch live TV. ABC, CBS, CW, Fox, NBC, PBS, and My Channel 9. Now if you wanted to, you can uh, upgrade to the All Channels package and you get 28 channels. So I'll show you the 28 channels here. These are all live and you can record them as well. Uh, you don't get DVR service, but if you share this app uh, or this service with people on Facebook, Twitter, Google, and even email, you get some DVR credits. Now, if you don't want to go through that, you can sign up for the All Channels Plus DVR package, and that will give you unlimited DVR, so you can record anything on the channel guide, the grid-style channel guide, and it'll, uh, you could do something in the future or whatever, and it will record it, no problem. Okay, so I have the top-of-the-line package here. So. To add this channel to the Roku, we go to our Roku account and we log in. Now, any device that's connected to our Roku, I have one in the living room, one in the basement, and one in my office here. I will get this US, uh, US TV Now channel. So I hit Add Channel, and now we're going to put in the code that you need to use to add this channel. Let's go home on the Roku here, and we're going to... Uh, click in US TV now all lowercase all one word and we're gonna hit add channel and this is gonna pop up because we're logged into our Roku account and we're gonna hit yes add channel now we'll take it back to the Roku here and I'm gonna show you uh, you just go into settings scroll down to settings here and scroll to system and then go to system update if you click system update uh, you can hit check now. Now, if you hit check now, you're going to update your firmware to your Roku, uh, and you're also going to install any apps that are pending. So we're updating Plex right now, and it's going to update the Plex, and then it's also going to install the US TV now. Uh, whatever apps that you need to have updates for, you do it. So you hit OK, and now you can go back to the Home button here, and if you go into your list here of your apps, you scroll up, you'll see it's the last app that you installed. So if you want to, you hit the star button or the asterisk button on the remote, the Roku remote, and you can move the channel way up uh, to the top of the list so that when you hit the home button, uh, you'll be there right on uh, and it'll be uh, an app that you can use quite often and easy to get to. So we scroll all the way up to the top. I'm gonna let it live right there and I'm gonna pop it open for the first time. So we pop it open here, and now we have to sign into the actual app. So if you go into your a, uh, your US TV Now account, and you sign in, and you click on your email that's up here, and you go into account settings, you go down to link your device. So you get ready to link your device. You hit continue, and on the Roku remote, and it gives you some code here. So you're going to hit the code S F K H T four. I think I got it right. And then we hit add, and it's going to add it right to uh, our account here. Okay. So um, we're going to wait for it, and it should automatically go. If not, hit your back button on your remote and you'll see that it successfully installed uh, your credentials. So now we're in the app here and we're going to run through this app right now. So when we first open the app you have four tabs, DVR, Favorites, Live, and Guide. Okay, so we'll open up the guide and it will open up uh, the guide for all of our channels just like you're used to in like cable. So you can scroll down. It's a little slow on, on you know, moving around within the, uh, the guide. And it takes a little bit to load once you go on to a new uh, 
guide down at the bottom here. Now, uh, if you want to watch live, you basically would just hit uh, any of the tiles that say live. So say I wanted to watch the Discovery Channel and I wanted to watch this live. I would click it. I would watch this program now and it will load into the Roku player and I can see uh, this show live coming straight from the Discovery Channel in HD quality. It's beautiful. Now, if I go left to right, I can fast forward a little bit and I can uh, rewind way back to the beginning, even if I like to. And it will jump right back into the beginning of the show where we first started. OK, um, it has a little bit of a time shift. So that's pretty good. Now, if I uh, scrolled down, uh, nothing would happen. But if I scrolled up, I would go right back into the guide. Now, say I wanted to record this very show, but the next episode coming, it's not quite uh, live yet. So we click and it'll say record this show. I can click record this show and you'll see a little reminder for recording there. It'll automatically record this show. You can record multiple shows uh, at a time. It doesn't matter how many you record. So uh, I, I like that. That's pretty cool. So now we go back into our main and we go to live. Now, if we click live, you'll see all the shows that are currently live right now as we speak. And you can scroll past and look for your favorite live show. Um, so say I wanted to uh, watch this show right here on FX. I would hit this and I would jump right in. Now I can make this my favorite show. So say I wanted How I Met Your Mother as my favorite. I would click uh, as Make Favorite. Okay. And then I can uh, watch this program now. And I could start watching this if I like. Um, and it will load up and it, it will show there. So now let me go back. And if I go into uh, the next tile over favorites here, we're going to see that my show is going to be added right into my favorites list. So I can jump straight to a show. Uh, that's that's a nice feature. Uh, it makes it easier for you to find your TV show, especially when you know it's playing. Uh, you jump right to that, that part. Now you also have DVR. And DVR is going to show you all the shows that you already recorded. And uh, you could just play them back right here. It's great for movies. It shows nice cover art, uh, just like this with the Terminator. Uh, but with TV shows, it doesn't show the season and it doesn't show the episode number. So it could get a little confusing on trying to figure out which show is which. So I would recommend watching them and then deleting them uh, from your DVR. Uh, this way, when you record a new show, say the next day, you'll know that this is the one that you recorded from last night. So that's pretty cool. We get some free live TV or you can use the paid version, get some great HD channels live. Now the lo the local games like sports, it's all in a different state. It's If you live in Massachusetts, you're not going to get the Boston games. But if you live in like Cleveland, I think this is what this is out of. Uh, you'll see all those live Cleveland shows, you know, Cleveland uh, and uh, or a certain state that this is from. I'm not quite sure where it's from. So it's not your local sports. Uh, so you might want to consider looking at the free version first before you jump in and pay for all the uh, channels. But if you're watching something like Survivor uh, and you want to see that live, uh, you will see Survivor because that's nationwide, uh, that show. Or if you were watching anything that records live like even on CW like Supergirl or something when it's recording in real life in your town with your cable company it's actually going to be able to see it on these uh, but as far as live sports go I don't know uh, you know it's not going to show your local sports if you don't live in the area where this system is set up so I hope you enjoyed this video please hit that like button subscribe there's a lot more to come if you want to see that video that I made about the Apple TV and the um Cody uh, installing US TV now to that uh, those apps then make sure you hit the cards up top or down in the description have a nice day and I'll see you on the next video bye bye